morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this beautiful 2023 Newmar Ventana. For all you Batman fans out there, this is the coach for you. This has the Gotham interior and the Gotham exterior graphics. Beautiful coach, black, grays, and white. This is a 4037, so it does have the tag axle. We'll go through that as I walk towards the rear of the coach, but we're gonna start up here. You can see this is gonna have your turn signal cameras. It is also gonna have your backup camera, keyless entry and doorbell. We're gonna have our Alcoa aluminum wheels with our Michelin 30570 tires, 22 and a half inch rims. Do have dual fuel. A lot of storage. If you want to carry an outdoor refrigerator freezer, this would be the bay. This is a really good angle here to show that star foundation that is key to Newmar. The quiet ride, such a smooth ride. You can see they their frame on top of the other frame there. This is a 2023. One of the things that I like about the 23s versus the older models, you don't have to slam the doors like you used to have to. Okay, right here we're gonna have our pass-through storage. Goes out in both directions, does have a thousand pound carrying capacity. This unit was ordered with the window awnings. Wanna point that out to you guys. This is how you get the window awning up and down. Okay, we're gonna have a half tray here. Again, on a slide out, we're gonna have our central vac system right down here. All right, before I forget, let me show you this cool entertainment package we have out here under this huge awning. This is a Samsung TV with a sound bar. Today is Thursday, so for all you football fans, it's Thursday night football. Thank goodness, I'm ready for some football. I'm sure I'm not the only one out there. If you got your picks for tonight, shoot me a text or an email. Let me know who you're rooting for. Here we go. All right, again, we're gonna have a nice tool compartment here. Water, uh, water's behind it. They do a good job of really not closing this off. Some manufacturers don't even put a bay here. They're gonna give you a little extra storage. So we walk to the back here, you can see again, it's 40 foot, Newmar put the tag axle on their 40 footers. This is a steerable tag. On this model, the front wheel cut is at 55 degrees and this rear tag is at 10.1 degrees. So it will turn as we're moving the coach around. If you saw my last video, we did some pretty good video uh, on how, that, how sharp it turns. Uh, we did a Dutch star. Okay, here's gonna be your battery disconnects right here. Your chassis batteries. We're gonna have our fuel water separator, air dryer. Everything's hidden below here, which is really nice. We're going to have our particulate filter under there. So we work our way to the back of the coach. A couple things. This was ordered with the rear ladder, which not all coaches nowadays come with the rear ladder. This has a little different build. Uh, it's got the ladder. It's also a Ventana on a Spartan K2 chassis. Uh, so that's a really nice upgrade. We're going to have our 15K towing capacity, and this is set up for a tow vehicle. I'm not going to pop the, the engine compartment here because of the ladder, but as you can see, this has the rear radiator and backup camera up top. All right, back here in this first compartment in the rear, you're going to have your block heater. We're in September, almost mid-September, so as it starts to get cold, you want to plug in your block heater, that's where it plugs in. 
That'll make your engine stay warm. It'll get it to fire up a little bit sooner, a little nicer, more smooth. Again, another storage compartment here. This chassis has a 10 gallon dev tank, 100 gallons of fuel capacity. You're gonna have 105 gallons of fresh water, 75 gallons of uh, gray and 55 black. This is gonna be a sewer storage compartment. So your sewer hose is stored nicely in there. Here is your water bay, full house water filter system, outdoor shower with hot and cold, your low point drains, your city water hookup. Actually, this is gonna be your tank rinse. This is gonna be your city water hookup on a, on a power reel. Makes it really nice, really clean. Okay, we got 50 amp service on this coach. Also on a power reel, you're gonna have your surge guard back here, some nice lights. You're gonna have cable inlet right here. Here's the back half of that half storage uh, tray or slide out tray on the other side. This, does, this has a uh, Truma continuous hot water system. Again, this is a little different build. This is gonna have your Truma hot water system instead of an Oasis, and it also has propane. Backside of this storage compartment. Here's your propane tank. Your house batteries, you got four house batteries on a slide tray. There's the other fuel fill right here. Right here is your generator compartment. This is where you would open up that generator compartment. You can have your breakers and fuses, additional fuses there. Sorry, it's a happening place today. We got a lot of traffic going by. This is gonna have an 8K uh, diesel generator. Up here, you're also gonna have your quick connect for an airline, your two air horns. All right. We're gonna go ahead and go inside. Before I pull out the slides, show you how much room is on the inside of this with the slides closed. As you can see, with the dual slides, you know, right across from each other, the opposing slides, they kind of limit how much walking space you have. You can get through there, and you can get all the way to the refrigerator. And you can get into the bathroom here, the mid bath. If you want to go into the bedroom, you can still access this. You have to do a little ninja roll over the bed if you want to get to that rear bath. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'll pull out these slides and let you guys get a peek of that. Just as a word of caution, I know I've mentioned it before, but as you're pulling your slides out, make sure your front seats are forward enough that you're not catching them on the way out or on the way in. If you like light furniture, this Gotham interior decor is awesome. Really goes well with these cabinets, the wood finish. Also, for those of you that like the boondock, um, I mentioned this is a little different build. This actually has, as you saw outside, propane. That's going to run your continuous hot water um, on either element, propane or electric. But it also has a gas stove, which is really nice. 
somewhat rare to find on the newer coaches. Usually this would be built with an induction cooktop, but on this one, we went ahead and did the propane. We got one more slide to do in the rear, just kind of showing that off for a second. The other thing that this has on the 23 models is now you have this huge touch panel control up here. Something that wasn't on the Ventanas before. It's got Bluetooth, you can pair to it. It does have your AGS, your auto gen start as well for your HVAC system. All right, this uh, bedroom slide's about out. We'll go ahead and move back to the front of the coach and uh, kind of work our way back. Just kind of wanted you to see that. Another thing that uh, we get asked about a lot is MSRP. This unit has an MSRP just under 520. I believe it's 519, 880. Um, let me close this door. All right, so again, starting up here in the front, you're gonna have two nice captain's chairs. They are gonna swivel around, give you a really nice living area here with the theater seats and the love seat across. You're gonna have um, Bluetooth or wireless charging pads up front for your phone, one for passenger. Also, actually on this one, it's just gonna be on the passenger. You're gonna have one right here in the front for the driver. Really nice backup camera system. We got the Voyager display. This actually has the navigation on it as well. All your touch screen, all your touch, your settings are gonna be on your steering wheel here. This is gonna have your 8.9 liter Cummins. So it's a 400 horsepower with 1,250 foot pounds of torque. You're gonna have your Allison 3000 six speed automatic transmission and your equalizer auto leveling. You're also gonna have your house and chassis battery merge button on this side. Your air horn on and off here. Your city horn's always on the steering wheel, so you just push on that. You're gonna have your tag dump. Right now it's set on auto. And then you're gonna have your engine brake on and off. And it is a three stage low, medium and high uh, engine brake. Up here over the, the driver's seats, your main controls. You're gonna have your door awning in and out. You're gonna control your awnings outside with this. Here's your security lights, your step override, your wine guard antenna, and then you're gonna have your power control system there. Passenger and driver side front slides. This is that Truma AquaGo continuous hot water system that I mentioned earlier. And here's your Magnum energy control system. I really like this build. Again, Gotham interior, Gotham exterior. You're gonna have the theater seats. This was an option. Got really nice storage in here. Mentioned it before, but these are super comfortable. Uh, you can get really comfy. Thursday night football, I might have to come out here and watch the game here tonight. Uh, nice theater seats. You're gonna have your televator across from you here. There we go. With that big awning outside, the exterior TV, you can invite some friends over and really have a nice Thursday night football party in this coach. Okay, up here we're gonna have our counter extension. And like I mentioned, three burner stove. Are your remotes. Soft closing drawers. We have our stainless steel sink here, which is really nice, good quality faucets. We're gonna have our trash can under here. Plenty of room for all your cleaning supplies so you can clean up after your buddies when the game is over. Maybe place a bet and whoever wins doesn't have to do the dishes. How about that? All right, up here, 
If you're not watching football, you need a nap, read all your manuals, they'll put you right to sleep. So for this uh, counter extension here, there's a button right under here. Just push on it, push this back in and it'll lock in place. A lot of overhead storage. Of course, we're going to have our convection microwave. Warm up your hot wings for the game. Sound bar up top. It does have Bluetooth on it, so you can Bluetooth your phone if you want to play some music on there. This is where you put your Blu-ray player, your DVD player, uh, your receiver for your satellite system, etc. All right. Uh, so this one comes with the. So you can see it's got the table and chairs. This is actually a desk, a work area. This will pull out here, give you a little bit more workspace. There's two folding chairs under the bed, so you can add. If you want to have some company have dinner with you. Under here, the nice thing about this setup, instead of the booth and chairs or just the table and chairs, is you have a lot of workspace up here. You can run cables through here, set up a monitor. Uh, for those of you that work on the road, this is a really cool option. You can probably put a nice printer under there. And you can work again, you can work on the road. A ton of people are doing it these days. This shelf is adjustable. Actually, if you work on the road, uh, shoot me a text or an email. Let me know, you know what kind of coach you're in, what works, what doesn't work. If you do that, I'll send you a first one to do that. I'll send you a $20 gift card. I like to know kind of what you guys are doing out there. Here in the kitchen, we're going to have a huge pantry. Slide out trays. These are adjustable, so you can adjust the height there. They lock into place so that they don't open while you're driving down the road. That would not be nice. You push in, unlock it. All right, back to that propane on board. So this is not a residential refrigerator. This is a dual mode propane or electric uh, refrigerator. A lot of people that boondock really love having propane and are always asking, uh, can I get a propane stove and a fridge? And now you got one here. So if that's what you're looking for, give me a call. This unit is available. Here's the half bath. Go ahead and open up this medicine cabinet for you. You're going to have a power outlet with GF5 protection right there on the side. Fantastic fan controls right here on the side. And then you're going to have quite a bit of storage for a small bathroom. Again, this is just your half bath central vac down here. I like how they put a light in there in case you're trying to be sneaky and sweep everything in there. Not that they can't hear you when you do that because it's pretty loud. Uh, here's your connection for your hoses for the central vac system. As we move into the master bedroom here, we do have a king size bed. Nightstand on both sides with outlets. You can have your, one, your standard outlets. There's also USB ports on each side. Of course, you're going to have another standard outlet with GFI protection over the bed. Remember to close these before you open these or they will hit. Back here, you're going to have some ports. You can run wiring through there as needed, right under here. Can you kind of show under there and show the controls that are under the bed there? I'm not sure if the gimbal will flip up. You got light controls here. 
you're going to have your security lights. So if you hear something outside, you can turn that on. That'll turn on the security lights outside. Right below your TV in the bedroom is going to be your escape window. Hopefully you never have to use it, but if you do, it's there. We're going to have a nice wardrobe area on both sides. Down below. Again, this is going to be where you put your Blu-ray player, your receiver for your satellite, all your electrical stuff. This is really deep drawer. I'm gonna let you go ahead and show that off. All right, as we move into the master bath here, we're gonna have a 35 inch uh, shower here. This is a corner unit. It does have the aqua view system. That will save you on your fresh water That'll purge the water that's in the lines back to the fresh tank uh, until the water is hot. It's got the flip down sink. That was an option that we added to this unit. Flip down seat. Right here, you're gonna have additional storage. Medicine cabinet probably six inches deep. Not sure if you can see that in the video. We're going to have a power outlet under here for your razor, your blow dryer. This does come equipped with the washer and dryer. We're going to have ours, our exit door right here. Again, hopefully you don't have to use this other than maybe you make a bet on tonight's game, your team is losing and uh, you don't want to hear all about it. So you might want to sneak out the back door, pretend you're going to the bathroom and uh, you know, kind of disappear until the next game shows up, right? To the next game when you can talk trash. All right, one thing I do want to point out uh, on this floor plan, sometimes people are asking me, is there a step? There is a small step from the bathroom down into the bedroom. You, you kind of get used to that. Most coaches will have that. Just something you need to be aware of. All right, before we finish the video here, I just kind of want to go over this control panel real quick because this is new. Anything that I missed on this video, if you want some additional info, please just call me, text me, or email me on the home screen. You're going to be able to turn on your water pump, your tank heat. This does have a tank. Uh, heat pad, your autofill and your top off buttons there for your tanks. You're going to be able to turn off all the lights, turn them on in the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, and then the master one will control all the lights. So we can shut them off like that, turn them back on. You can also do your TV lift. On your auto gen start, this is what it's going to look like. This is where you would set that up for you. The temperature starts to drop, you can have it so it automatically will fire up that generator and kick on the HVAC system. Here's your HVAC controls, cool, auto, for living room and bedroom. Today's supposed to be almost 100 degrees out here in Denver. I'm not sure where you guys are at. Hopefully you're not quite that hot. Uh, this is going to be for your Bluetooth. So this will tell you exactly what you need to do to hook up your app and be able to do some, some of the functions on this. Go back. This is just going to have your light controls for your living room, kitchen, bathroom, bedroom, and the, the other bathroom. All right, back to the home screen. That con concludes this walkthrough. Again, um, if you have any questions, pretty much it's just a quick walkthrough to show you some of the features of this coach. If there's anything else that you'd like to know, sell price, all of those fun fun questions you guys come up with, just give me a call, shoot me a text or an email. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for the feedback. We'll keep working on it. Thank you guys.